What's going on guys? Who is ready for some rock crawling? Me. Cassie, you ready? I am, I'm ready. We are here in Mason, Texas at Wolf Caves Off-Road Park. We brought the JK and Cassie drove the JT. Wolf Caves is an awesome spot full of big, really, really cool rock crawling obstacles. We just got on the trail, we aired down the tires, we're ready to hit the rocks. Yeah, drove, uh, we ready. drove six hours this morning, so Ooh, energy yeah. levels are low. <laughs> Tire pressures are low. Transfer case is in low, and we're ready to go. Dude, that just flowed. That did. Wow. Oh my god. All right, there guys. So that is enough talking. Let's go hit the trails and finally get some rocks. Like, what is this? I don't even know what rock, this is. It's, it's been so long. long. Where's the it's mud? So long. Where's the mud? So this is our first time rock crawling out here in Texas. Wolf Cave is going to be an awesome day today. So let's go hit the trails and have some fun. So it's definitely been a while since uh, Cassie and I were playing on the rock. We haven't been rock crawling in a while. You know, once we moved down to uh, South Texas, there's not too much rock crawling out there. I think the last trip where we were actually like crawling was Wind Rock. This place is awesome so far. It's like, it reminds me a lot of like out west, Moab. All the rock has a ton of grip and look how big these things are. So this is actually one of the easier trails. It's marked as a green. We, me, Cassie and I have never been here. We, we aren't with anybody that knows the trail, so we're gonna kinda have to figure it out ourselves, but that's one of the fun things about exploring new parks, is you kinda just get to go where you want and figure out all of the really cool places. Looks like we've made it to our first obstacle. A little rock ledge right here. Let's break the cameras out, shift some gears and burn some rubber. So the first obstacle is pretty easy. Luckily, there's so much grip out here. We're gonna see if the JT can do it. Probably gonna take a little bit different of a line. I don't know which way she's going. Probably. Like I you just feel, feel it. it. Oh, Ugh. that's okay. This is fun though. They like there are so many different like lines to take. It's just it's like insane. a field of of rocks and boulders. A field of rocks and boulders. You know, pick a line, any line, and uh, just see what happens. Oh, you got the AC on. That's nice. Oh, this my is gosh. why I drove the JT. <laughs> <laughs> All right. See that little yellow arrow? That means it's a difficult trail. I just spotted it. Uh, kind of walked it real quick. It didn't seem too bad. But, you know, I guess we've been on blues the first, you know, 20 minutes we've been here. So I'm gonna try out what they consider a difficult trail. They have trails here that are like specifically designed for buggies, rear steer, all that good stuff. We're not gonna mess with that today. Uh, you know, especially since we're six hours away, but let's try out one of these yellow trails, see what it's about. Stole, dude. <laughs> There she is. It's reliable at least, right? So here we go. Where do you think the yellow part is? So I'm not, that's what I was wondering. Ben was like, I'm gonna go check this out, but it's just a sideways rock. I know, it's just sideways. So I think you should just go play in the rocks over here. Yep. How do I get off? You gotta go straight and you gotta go 
back uh, driver direction a little bit. Bumper! No, you can't, you can't. You can't? No. Like, it's all bump, like, you got, like, a six inches of bumper. Can I just send it up? I think you should try because now you literally have your bumper against this back rock. You'd have to re-angle and come back right. down the way you came up. Cool. But, yeah. over here. Oh man. That feels That was the only way to get out of that. Yeah. I feel so bad for the underside of my Jeep. That was just like dunk, dunk, dunk. Dun, dun. Alright. Nothing broke though. Knock on uh knock on rock man. So bouncing over the hump like that was not the plan. The plan was to kind of crawl over it but when I got up on there and realized I was hitting my belly realized I couldn't back up because then my rear bumper was wedged on a rock so we kind of had to bounce it up send it up there um, Jeep handled it fine one thing I did notice that my switch pod is now off so I don't have lockers or my air compressor I think what may, may have, might have happened is something the battery may have you know bounced around a little bit there's a circuit breaker in there for this so I'm gonna check that once we meet up with Cassie here um, but Jeep is doing great the new tires are phenomenal um, um, this weekend I was planning to do a, uh, a review for you guys, but maybe this video within itself can be kind of part of the review. Uh, but of course we will do like a standalone review. So I'm going to go double check and see what's going on with my battery up there because this, that's not going to be fun. Nothing, nothing working. So let's go, let's go take a look at that real quick. Everything's good under there. The little circuit breaker, uh, I think when it moved, it actually tripped itself, not like electrically, physically, there's a little knob on there. I think it just tripped from being bounced around. Cassie, what you up to? Nothing. It's hot, isn't it? Yeah, I got it's getting a little warm. Yeah, I didn't believe Ben was like, it's gonna be a hundred today. Do you show? Are you and then on the on the LJ? drive here, on the drive here, it's like sixty eight like, degrees beautiful. and beautiful. Like, oh, it would have been a great drive, and then now it's like, now it's starting to warm up. Really, really hot. All so. right, I guess we'll just continue this way. trying the same line is pretty difficult <laughs> yep you're right on your uh tie rod. tie rod aluminum it's aluminum right oh yeah he's good you're good dude she's bent she's bent she's good there you go I know a lot of you guys are probably a little bit mad that we didn't invite or do like an open group ride, but this is our first time coming out here to Wolf Caves. Kind of want to scope it out and uh, learn the trails before we have like a bunch of Jeeps here doing a group ride. And it's our first time wheeling in 
like six months and Ben got yeah. approved to go out of bounds. Yeah, I like got approved, got approved to come out here to travel and off road. So that is awesome. Uh, you're good. This is where that Bronco got high centered. You gotta show the Broncos up. Uh, you're fine. I think it's gonna get high centered. Back up. You butt. <laughs> Turn your lock turn your lockers on. Yeah, I can see how he got high centered here. Back. Yep. Stop. Yeah. I think we're gonna see. Try that. There you go. Yep. Nice. <laughs> so you guys might be wondering why we took off the rooftop tent on the Gladiator. Um, it's been a long time since we put that on and it's not like permanently removed. Figured since we're coming out here to Wolf Caves, there's a lot of rock crawling. I was like, man, let's go ahead and ditch the tent for this trip just in case we uh, decide to take the JT on some, a little, you know, a little gnarly or trails. All that weight up high does really not help you off-road. It affects your center of gravity. So we're like, hey, let's take it off. Plus, I was kind of curious to see uh, what it looked like. It's been a long time since we have it off. I'm definitely... And gas mileage. Yeah, I'm curious to see uh, if there's a gas mileage different. Ca Cassie drove it. Hey, and she didn't look at the uh, miles per gallon on the way up here. So on the way back, we'll see. But check out this bad boy flex. Oh my goodness. That's such a nice rock, dude. Oh my gosh, look at that rock. Dude. Good choice. Would you just look at it? Look at it. Wow. Woof. Oh yeah, so <laughs> you can, I'm just inspecting everything. Definitely hit something a little good right there. That would be, oh. I don't know. But Jeep's doing good today, boys. Oh, that was the rock when I yelled doof. Oh. That was that one. Yeah, look at that flex. Three link front, three link rear. She's a champ. Tops off about 75 miles an hour. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 75 miles an hour, but she's a champ at 75. She'll hit 80 on a downhill paddle to the floor. But another benefit of having the rooftop tent removed is that we can use the diamond back as a viewing safari experience. If you look over there, you'll see a wild croc over there in the pond. Oh no, the croc is right there, mate. That was a little lame, I know. A little bit lame. A little bit lame there. Fridge was like, all right, I'm out. Definitely been a good day of rock crawling so far. Is that part of the rock? Yeah, there's diamonds right there. <laughs> it's quartz. It looks cool. It does Sorry, look I got cool. It's shiny. Uh -huh. well, yeah. I know. That's really cool. What if those were diamonds and we're just like, oh, no big deal? Man, it is getting very, very hot. So we're going to do a few more trails. We barely even scratched the surface of this park. Um, we're definitely gonna be coming back. This is a fun place. I think next time we're gonna we're gonna camp. Probably throw the uh, rooftop tent back on the JT. Do some camping and some wheeling. But there's a little obstacle here. We're gonna go down and turn around and come up a nice little rock climb wall. So turn the GoPro around for you and make it down this hill. You just kind of have to go. All right. We'll see. I know he'd get over this easy. Well, not yet. Let's we'll see. You might. Your belly's rubbing. It's down. And then you turtle. And then you turtle. Yeah, belly's hitting the rock right there. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I'm literally high center. Yeah. Um, 
and that's probably why that rock was all like scraped. You can see where everyone else got high centered too. I can pull you out in the gladiator. Does Ben need the gladiator to save him? I think so. Help. Help. <laughs> Help. Definitely should have went more this way right here. More passenger. More passenger. Oh, I really don't want to pull myself forward. Do you want me to just pull, uh... A little tug back maybe, let's see. I really wouldn't. Yeah, anymore, it's going to be straight drive shaft. Yeah. Uh, that, oh yeah, that would be bad. Cassie's over here doing a, a 15 point inspection and everything. Man, we are fully drooped down on the frame. So the first thing we're gonna try to do is Cassie's gonna hop in the Jeep and she's gonna try to drive it while I push a little bit. This tire right here is really close to getting traction and pushing us up. This one over here is off the ground a good bit. So uh, hopefully just a little bit of force to kind of get it on that rock and drive down. If not, we'll take the JT, loop it around and just give us a little tug. I, I don't really want to uh, pull it forward much because the drive shaft is going to like take the entire weight of the Jeep. And the further we go, the worse it's going to get. So I'd rather not go forward. Hindsight, I needed to be over here on this rock a little more. So put the GoPro down and see if this works. Ready? Ready? Yep. Shortly after we pulled the JK off of the rock that we were high centered on, we decided it was time to take a much needed break. Ran out of water, mostly that was my fault. Cassie reminded me, she said, hey, we should bring an entire case of water. Ben yeah, says, no, I didn't. we got enough. We had enough, we had I enough thought. Enough. So we decided to head into town and get more water so we could continue on wheeling. Then I kind of got us lost. Um, yeah, I wanted to know where we were on a map the entire time, but Ben didn't seem to have the same enthusiasm. No, so I was all lost, couldn't figure out how to get Couldn't back. figure out where we were. I was around. all about, yeah, we don't need to look at the map. We don't need to hit it, you know, certain trails. We can just go and have a fun day and rock we crawl. We like went in circles. We went in circles for quite a long time trying to find the exit. By the time we finally got out, I was, I was, I was done. I was done for the day. Was Cassie tired. was tired and we still had to make the six hour drive back home. So. Yeah. I think it's okay that we finish it off. I know you guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Now you might be wondering, what about the JT, the Gladiator? There was not much footage of that, Cassie. That's because it'll be on my channel probably later this week. Uh, I'll be posting a video on all of the fun things I did in the Gladiator at Wolf Caves. Yeah. So I know a lot of you were hoping to see some Gladiator action, but you're going to see it on this girl's channel, Jeep Gear and Gadgets. Yep. Come Unless we me. change the name. I don't know. We're going to... I don't know where to be. She it. hasn't decided yet. So. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know uh, it was a lot of fun for us. I cannot wait to get back up there to Wolf Caves. We will be back. We are going to try out Hidden Falls sometime soon and possibly K2, but I think Wolf Caves is where we should do a group ride. Yeah, for sure. Um, but once again, hopefully once the weather cools down a little bit because uh, not much, not too much fun wheeling in 100 degree heat. So thank you so much for watching. Please give the video a big thumbs up. Leave a comment below. And before we go, I know I've been talking about this in a bunch of videos, but the oil catch can. Let's oh, see, because now it. it's officially, it's been like over a thousand miles. No, I haven't. Here we go. Hold the camera. Camera holding. Now, do Let's you guys see. want me to show a uh, an actual setup of like how to do this? Because I know I kind of just breezed through the install. We could do one on the Gladiator um, or the LJ or something like that. Show you guys exactly how to set this up. But the $20 catch can, let's see. I mean, I'm hoping there's stuff in there. I've mentioned this in so many videos. I should have just done an initial I video. Know, you should have. There we go. Oh Can yeah. Can you see it on the screen? Um, I don't know, but there's there's some oil in there for sure. Can you see it? There we go. Uh, yeah. Ready? You. Yes. Ah. That is a delicious. good amount of oil. I need a rag now. All yes. right, guys. So I think you know enough. If enough of you guys say, "Hey, I want you to do an install video." talk more about it we'll do it so until the next one guys i'll see you later i know i'm like do i record you or do i go get a rag oh i don't need a rag right now oh okay you can just <laughs> see you guys <laughs>